Hello friends and welcome to Hymn Tutorials on Music My Way channel where you simply watch it, learn it and play it. Today we are going to be learning how to play the hymn Silent Night. This tutorial will be in two parts. The first part will be the easy version which you can play to accompany yourself, someone else or a group of persons singing. If the first part is too basic for you, you may want to just skip to the advanced section of the tutorial, that is part two. The second part of the tutorial will be to teach you how to play the song the same way I played at the beginning of this video. For the best sound quality, I recommend that you use headphones. Without any waste of time, let's dive in. This tutorial will be in the key of C, and for this first part of the tutorial, we are going to be using the following chords. We are going to be using chord one, which is um, this, that is chord one in the key of C. We're going to be using it in second inversion. That's chord one in second inversion, C major chord, second inversion. We are going to be using chord 4, that's F major chord in root position. We are going to be using chord 5, which is um, G major chord in root position. And we are also going to be using chord 3 major. Normally in, key, in the key of C, chord 3 will be E minor, but we are going to be using chord 3 major. Okay, so... Um, in case you do not understand what these chord numbers are, or you do not understand what inversions are, please do well to check lesson 5, 6 and 7 in my Play Piano in 10 Lesson series for detailed explanations. And please, if you're new to the channel, just hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. When you do so, remember to hit the notification bell next to it so that you will be notified every time I upload a video. Okay, now I'll put up the song on the screen and show you line by line where each chord comes in. The song begins on chord one, so yeah. Silent night, holy night. And then the next part now moves to chord five. All is calm. And then the next all comes in on chord four. Bright is on chord one. Bright. So it's like this. All is calm. All is bright. Okay, then round yon virgin. We are on chord four. And then mother and child chord one. Round yon virgin. Same thing for holy infant soul, we are on chord four, and then tender and mild, we are on chord one. So we have holy infant soul, tender and mild. Now, this part, I <laughs> hope I'll be able to sing that it's high. Sleep in heavenly, we are on chord five, peace. At the place of peace, okay, let me do the sleep in heavenly. So it goes, sleep in heavenly. The peace, we go to chord six, and then, oh my God, I didn't indicate that in the chords. Yeah, we actually need chord six here and chord three. So, um, peace, we go to chord six, and then transition into chord three. So we play chord six. And then moving to chord three, chord six, chord three. Okay, so that part is sleep in heavenly peace. That's actually chord three major, like we said earlier. Then we go back to chord one, sleep in chord five. Heavenly chord one peace. So playing the whole song through would sound like silent night, holy night, holy sound, holy bright. Round Holy infant soul, 
tutorial was in the key of C, you could play it, you know, you could move the same principle to another key. For example, let's do it in the key of A. This is A right here. And that's my A in second inversion, okay? part of the song and then on to the second part since the notes of the chords are being displayed on the screen for you I'll first of all play and then accompany it with the solfa notation and then I will do it the second time at a very slow pace so that you can be able to follow now feel free to rewind and practice challenging sections over and over again till you get them so la so me so la so mi re re ti do do so la la do ti la so la so mi la la do ti la so la so mi where I do it very slowly so that you can be able to follow.
Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, please hit that small notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time that I upload a video. See you in the next tutorial, but until then, keep practicing and God bless you.